This won't take long. I can beat him and trounce him good. Check microphone levels. That looks good.
and waiting. Okay, there we go. Okay, strength of three. Pit fighters not worried about them. Well, he does have Dauntless. Dauntless and block. Interesting. Dauntless and block. Hello, viewers. Waiting on my opponent to get everything set up here. Black guard, black guard. A lot of frenzy on these guys. Okay, here we go. And the wall. Except actually, I don't really need to because. So, mighty blow, mighty blow. Yes, I do want that. That's his guys. Do I have anybody over here? That's right, because my own guy was injured. So, Eobard Jr. and Sobius. I think we're good here. Players are allowed to move one square. Hey, good. So that means everybody here. contact with me and now he is okay touch back uh, you don't want to be really matter so Eobar Jr. you get it okay That is a good way to start. Here's where we want to do 
some damage. Which I like that. No need to follow up there. Yeah, too bad he's not down, but oh well. Let's see. We both have blocks, so that doesn't matter. Uh, we will reroll that. And, well, that is the way they roll. Through over here on the side, it looks like. Yep. And some Junin is down and stunned. you got going on here. I'm well, going to load it up over there. Pushing. Yep, going for the push. Done more damage there, but it is what it is. Follow that up there. Get up here. You can, but you gotta go for it twice. So it's getting a little dangerous, but yes, we will. Okay, good. No, I'm not gonna risk going for it anymore.
that's bad. Mighty blow and claws. Let's see what the plan is here. Oh yeah! Hey Ross, thank you, sir. Nerve mixed nest game. And is he going to use the apothecary? He did not. Good. not standing up because he is not going to uh, get kicked into the stands. We are smarter than that. Frenzy, I hate frenzy. 
Oh, crap. Oh, good. Whew. Dead regeneration of success. Whew. He'll be back after this. See if Eobard Jr. can score. Nope, he dodged out of the way. everybody up on the line for him to get his first attack in, so let's uh, see what we can do here. So here we go. Pop go run for one turn. I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. Hey, Ross. How's it going, man? <sighs> I 
Doing good. Getting my uh, final match in for this season of the league. If I win, I might make the playoffs. So I'm um, up one nothing right now, which is good. Unfortunately, this big nasty bloodthirster is nasty. Yeah. And what just happened there? Badly hurt, badly hurt. Failed his region, so he is out for the game. That is not good. Just working. Eh, yeah, I hate work. Work sucks. Ready to get these next two days over with and have my Friday, Saturday off, work Sunday, then off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then work Thursday, and then off Friday, Saturday again. So. We can still do this with one, minus one Tomb Guardian. We still have four of them, and we got a lot of a lot of guys with big skills. Like he's not going to be good there, but we have other guys that will help. Let's get this guy up here. Gets us a stun, so that helps. Skeleton, a Blitzra. He might actually only get one. Okay, that's not as good. Now, we'll do that and go for it on one. Okay, good. So we're good there. Why are you giving me... No, that was not the way I wanted you to go. Uh... Hey, I hope I win too. I'd like to make it to the playoffs. We will see what happens with this season. We had uh, two back-to-back -back losses that kind of hurt me pretty good. And you can come up here and join the line too. Okay. Do you have any big plans for the fourth, Ross? We're going uh, going to St. Louis, visit my wife's family for a couple days. What we do tend to do every year, so it's fun. Chance just to hang out and relax for a few days. coming after me. And here comes somebody. 
Hey, that I like that. And I don't like that as much. He's down to two rerolls at least, so. Six out of two, so he had to roll. Yeah, he had to roll a one to fail. And he did. I'm gonna party at my house. The city launches the fireworks in the park across the street. So best seats in the house. Nice. That's always good. Uh, we usually end up just like shooting some off um, there at my wife's cousin's house. So see how Blake does. Like last year, he was he enjoyed it some, but then it was still kind of kind of eh about it. So we'll see being three now if he's a little more into it, so. But I used to have a, an apartment that was like that. It was right down on the riverfront, right where they did all the the big shows in uh, St. Charles or outside of St. Louis. So I would just walk out my back door and watch the, uh, the fireworks shows. Stand up. Wow, that's a that's a, a lot of meat. Two pork shoulders and six racks of ribs. I come to your house, you usually just have like burgers and broths and stuff like that. It is a lot of meat. <laughs> My teenage son just said, man, that's a lot of meat. Man, we cannot cause an injury for anything tonight. Hey, you, Thrower, come over here and help your buddy out. Yeah, we're hoping he'll like it. Um... His cousin that's there that we're staying with, she's very skittish, so we're hoping like that doesn't rub off on him. There we go, a KO, finally. Not a permanent injury, but still. That is another guy gone. I need to get this Tomb Guardian in the mix, so he's going to come up here and roll some dice, too. the case, John, but I'm not quite sure that's going to happen. <laughs> With that meat, I'm sure you can have a hell of a party. That's more than what was on the womp platter I had this weekend. Do what? <laughs> Ribs are very good, yes. So we got, hey, Sci Spy, glad to see you joining us too. Can't have fun without the jigglies. Yeah, but we're all mainly bone and decaying flesh. You don't want to see this stuff jiggle. The Amazon's jiggling is one thing, undead jiggling. That goes into a whole nother realm. Yeah, I don't know, SciSpy, if you're watching it on Chrome. I know Chrome has been having issues with Mixer not playing well and crashing here and there. 
Um, if you turn off the low latency, I think it works better. But of course, then you've got the delay, so it's kind of eh. Yeah, Ross, usually for like, when we go in the fourth, like it's at her one cousin's house and they just basically have everybody on that side of the family over and just barbecue and just kind of hang out all day and shoot off some fireworks that night. And so like tons of food normally. Bring a skeleton up to get an assist here. Did you hear about the evil gift? The team that is made up of a mix of evil players? Their fans won the most evil supporters of the year of the world. For the American oh. Lives. You're a throw rock. Neither of you guys are going to really be able to do anything. Oh, man, you would have to. God, oh, do I risk it? Oh, why the hell not? It's not going to do us any good. But if we can cause a little bit of damage. Come on, Eobar Jr. We have nothing to lose at this point, so... Hey, hey, hey! It does me no good, but oh well. Yeah, it usually is a good time, Ross. We usually have a nice, enjoyable trip. We normally go up for a few more days, but with the 4th being on a Tuesday, we're just going up, driving up Monday. Uh, it's about a three and a half hour drive. We'll have like Monday afternoon and then we will uh, be there all day Tuesday and then probably drive back Wednesday morning. So go back to work for my one day. Wife has to go back for two. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we're we're just hitting half time. We just hit half time, so we're about halfway done here. So, if I see you, I'll talk to you on here. If not, I'll talk to you on Discord tomorrow. About 30 minutes left is what I'm hoping here. Sci spy, I'd like to be done in a half hour. Get to bed at a decent time. At least I got a bribe. I can go for a foul now and not worry about getting kicked out. I like that. I don't like how the ball's so close to his guys, though. Yeah, no overtime in this game. Won't be like the one game Moose and I did where it went to like turn 24. Thank you. 
I actually talked to Moose today. Uh, him and Larry stopped by. Yes, yes he did. They were here for a couple hours, just kind of chit-chatted. He was talking about some BWF stuff, and uh, he's talking about coming back for uh, Season 3 of Blood Bowl, at least to play. I don't think he wants to manage it. He may turn that over to Dan. Uh, but I think he's talking about maybe wanting to play. He's talking about maybe getting Larry set up to play, too. Yeah, Dan's, Dan's very impartial and non-emotional, so he doesn't let things get to him. I know sometimes some of the stress of worrying about forfeits and stuff like that kind of got to Moose a little bit. Dan, Dan's an asshole and won't care. He won't let any sort of emotions cloud any judgment. He'll just be like, look, this is the way it is, so... No, he didn't say why you quit bothering with the BWF. It's like everybody kind of quit bothering, so I just assumed it was just that's the way things were. At this point, everybody's quit bothering with the BWF, though, so... Said about getting screwed over in a pay-per-view match that I got the RPs in on time for. Which match did you get screwed over on? I very rarely have I ever actually changed anybody's stats for inactive um, unless they didn't post for months and months and months. I.e., Lotus and Sergey. Yeah, and I'm sorry that you felt you got screwed over in a match, but I never, like, reset stats um, on those things.
Yeah, we tried. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to hurt as many of his guys as I can, and I'm knocking them down, but I am not getting any injury rolls. Whereas, unfortunately, he's taken out one of my Tomb Guardians. He did kill a guy, luckily that regen roll saved me. Yeah, I got two guys with Mighty Blow. I don't remember if they're the ones out on the field, though. Yeah, both of my Mighty Blow guys are out still. Yeah. He's got that freaking claw. Thank goodness he didn't get anything there. I hate claw. Yes, you did. You killed Eobard. That's why we have Eobard Jr. out there now. I just kind of hope this wall holds. You killed one guy, and you gave another one. You gave one of my skeletons minus one movement. Chrome's having issues with Mixer right now, and I don't know exactly why, but it has been. It's something that's been causing issues. If you turn off FTL, it will, uh... Hey, a stun. I can handle that. Really? Fine. You go up there. Start to try to bring the cage in. Yeah, Sci Spy, yeah, I don't know what it is with Chrome. Um, supposedly they're working on something. It's something with the FTL feature. You turn off the low latency, it works better, but then you're on like an 8, 10 second delay instead of like the 1 second delay. So it's a mixed bag. Still waiting for the delay to go away on the mobile app and them to bring the FTL service to the mobile app too.
Frenzy can still be nasty at times. There we go, an injury. Ah, I'm just badly hurt. Oh well, Senru will get some star player points. Same can be said with the lizard men and their skinks. You just gotta try to keep them off the line so that they can, they, they can only attack them if they blitz. Then you're still, if you can take out one a turn, if you can injure them, it, that, that stunty is what really hurts them, being able to injure them a lot easier. Ah, no block. I so want one of these guys to get roll doubles so I can get a block on one of these mummies. And stunned him. Ugh. You know, I haven't played Fumble much at all. I know I've heard a lot of good things about it, but... I'm burning my way through the uh, campaign in Blood Bowl 2 right now on Xbox. Stupid demons shouldn't be dodging. That's what we can hope, is that I can catch up with him or he has to stay back enough that he can't score. But yeah, stuns aren't going to help with that.
Is he going to go for a pass? By one guy that has block. have dodge though. As soon as he throws his first punch, we know the opponent will be out for lunch. Smash collarbone, ouch. Pinch nerve. Yeah, that's better than a smash collarbone, that's for sure. Needs to get somebody down here by this. him down so he can continue on. Okay, I've got this guy's covered just then I gotta go from here and see what happens. You know, Sci Spy, I'm not for sure. There's, if I win, there's like a four way tie at 10 points. Um, if Doug beats you, he's automatically in, so that leaves two slots. If you beat Doug or it's a tie, then three of those 10 point guys will be in. And now comes the pain. He is stunning and KOing right. Wow. But I have to win to even stand a chance of being in the playoffs. Could be game. Well, not game, but it's a tie, which effectively eliminates me out. I don't think I have anybody that can catch him. If I can get somebody that can push him into the, the pitch. Oh, do I have anybody that can get there?
This is it. Nope. It all comes down to this. And no reroll. That's it. I. This will be the end of the season for the Kimry team. So this tie will put a uh, chance to re-roll the block it was it was painful just to get some star player points. Eight players and ten players on the pitch. Uh. Turn to hurt some of my guys. Not that it matters since it's end of the season. Frenzy. Okay, I was gonna say, wait a minute, I thought he had to file. Good thing is, is injuring some of his guys, that's going to, uh, although I think one of them may just be badly hurt, but at least there's a couple that uh, are going to miss the next game, so that'll help out whoever faces him in the playoffs.
let's try to get someone to eat bar junior. Reroll, is he gonna make the catch? Nope. That's game. Try for Neither team could force a decision on the pitch, but I'm sure there's plenty of action in the player's tunnel. Nothing like a bit of extra time to decide the outcome of a match. I think I'll buy the crystal ball of this game and watch it over and over again. Yes, you won't see much better than that. Well, there's no doubt that pre-match instructions were to give the priority to punching over passing. Yeah, so we've got... I hope that none of the opposition suffered from claustrophobia. The team kept them confined to yeah. their own half. Own quarter, Pinch I nerve. Think. Badly hurt. Pinch nerve. So he has two guys. A whole industry built around One of his corn herald and a pit fighter. They're going to miss the next game. So that's good at least. Me. Badly hurt. Nipper was coming back. So. Who got it? Ooh, Sinru. One of my Blitzros got it. Uh, unfortunately, still not enough for him. And his pit fighter. <sighs> Alright, well, thank you all for stopping by. That is game. I am going to be out of here. Uh, Sci-Spy, Creed, have a good night. Ross, if you're still watching, have a good night.